Welcome to Walking in Faith and Victory Broadcast. We're so glad and honored that you would join with us today. And we pray and believe by faith that you'll receive something from the Lord. Just one word can change your life forever and that it will encourage you and build you up and strengthen you and get you ready for the good fight of faith. Amen. I want to pray for you. Father, we just thank you and give you glory and honor. And we are so grateful for what you are doing in these last days, what you're doing for those listening at the sound of my voice. Father, that as they follow your voice, they will follow uh, the path and purpose and plan for their life and leads them into victory. Amen. As they were made to be and born a victor in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, we're going to change our format, not every every uh, broadcast, but we're going to change it today. And we're going to have Q&A. Uh, there are some that sent in some questions, and we want to be able to answer some of those questions. And I'm not sure how long it's going to take because some of these questions were pretty deep, and they, they uh, are wonderful questions. And so the first question is, oh, and I want to remind you that we will have a place on our website. And if you have any questions you would like to ask me as a pastor, uh, I'll, be, I'll do my best to help answer those questions. Now, don't send in some goofy question because I'm not going to answer it. Like, can God create a rock that's so big because he can do the impossible that he can't pick it up? Now, that's just silly. Don't send your silly questions. Uh, but those of you who have legit qu questions, maybe you're believing for something uh, from health to uh, financial breakthrough, uh, you're, you may have some situations in your marriage or dealing with your children. See, I, I'm a pastor. I deal with these things every day and, and help folks. And in fact, the office you're here, this is not a fake uh, office. This is my work office. This is why it looks the way it does. And, uh, and, and we try to make it as presentable as you can. But I counsel people in this office. I work with people, pray with people. And we have staff meetings and everything else. This is a work office. And so I know it's not impressive, uh, but it's something we work from, and it's just an instrument uh, of what God uses in our life. Amen? So welcome to my office. And, uh, and here are some questions that came in. One was, what are some of the greatest victory, victories you've ever experienced in life? And... It goes on to ask, what was there anything or any, yeah, anything particular you remember doing or pur purposed doing as you believe for the manifestation? Amen. Well, uh, I want to begin with saying this. Uh, we as Christians were born into victory. The minute you, are, you receive Christ, you become part of a family of champions. We are placed in a position of victory. So we can pray in that position of victory. We can believe in that position of victory. We go to war or fight uh, the good fight of faith uh, with the attitude we're going to win. And, uh, and when you have a winning attitude, you'll have more victories. Now, one thing that was a victory for me is I didn't have to fear to fail anymore. I wasn't afraid of failure. Even if I do fail or fall, I know that I can get up swinging. I know that I, I'm still on the winning side. I'm still a son of God. I'm still a, a champion in his eyes. And so I just need to see how he sees me. Amen. And that will help a lot of people. Amen. Because we're raised and taught we're, we're losers all our life. And, and you know, when, and, and you experience a lot of failure in life, uh, especially living on the other side. Amen. But once you get on the winning side or you become a son and, or a child of God, he makes you a champion. But you can be more skillful as a champion. You know, if you were... Uh, I don't know, uh, a Roman soldier and you were going to learn how to fight, I'm sure that, you know, learning the basic skills of how to handle a shield and a sword, uh, you, you know, that would be very frightening, especially if somebody's coming at you with the same thing. 
you would have to learn to be more skillful to protect yourself and you'd have to learn uh, to, to be on the offensive side. And, uh, and so these are things that we can be more skillful in our fight, this good fight of faith. That's what Paul called it, a good fight of faith. Amen. And so I, I called Jan and I said, hey, this is my wife, Jan, my bride. And I asked her, what are some of the, the victories we've had, greatest victories personally? Now, we've had many, many victories believing for other folks. We've seen people healed of cancer. We've seen them have uh, miracles in their finances, in their marriages. And those are to us are great victories. That's a great portion or part of our life because it's our, we, we can't separate our life from ministry. Uh, uh, our, our life, uh, the life that we live is, is ministry. Amen. And, uh, and so, uh, we do have a personal life. Don't misunderstand me, but it ministry is a great portion of our life. And so we have seen so many great things that God has done. And, and I can think of great healings we've experienced, uh, uh, great financial blessings. Like, um, about 20 years ago, somebody called us up and said, Hey, I, I have haven't been going to church for a while and I'm in between churches but I, I have this I have tithe here and I want to tithe it to your church and it was about twenty thousand dollars and that's how we got our first cameras and camera equipment and and some other things that we needed around the church boy that was a great victory a couple of years ago we needed a new roof on our on our church and uh, uh, you know, they put a new roof on. We just did it by faith. We had about 20, I think 20, we were short about $2,500 because I think it cost us about twenty four or 25000 And the money came in supernaturally. People just began to sow towards it and money came. Uh, but we we're $2,500 short. And so my wife came to me and, and the guy called. He says, I'm coming to pick up the check. The job's done. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll be there within the hour. And we didn't have it. And uh, and my wife came to me and said, what do you think we're going to do? I said, we're going to just keep using our faith. God will come through. Uh, you know, it might be last minute, but he's coming through. And and, uh, and and I had plan B, thinking, you know, tempted to say, well, we'll ask the guy to give us time. We'll give as much as we can. And I said, no, in Jesus' name, I, in my thinking, and I, I may have said it out loud. It's been quite a while ago. And I said, you know, I'm believing it's going to come in. Well, we sent our son-in-law, uh, one of the staff members, to the bank, or uh, not to the bank, to the post office. And he came back. And we're out there talking in the foyer area. And, and, and my wife is opening up the mail. And all of a sudden, I see this hand coming uh, past the door, waving a check and screaming and hollering, praise God. And the miracle part of that was this. Uh, somebody had vowed some money to our ministry when we were in the traveling ministry. And they, and they I, I didn't even know about it, you know, or I don't remember it. And I sure wouldn't have held it against them. Uh, but they said, here is the $2,000 that I vowed. And, and, and uh, I meant to pay it many years ago, but here it is. 22, it was 2000 And here's an extra 500 just because. And, and it was the exact amount. And we're sitting there going, praise God. We're just jumping around, dancing out there on the sidewalk and giving God glory. And, um, and then the guy pulls up and we write a check. That's, that's quite a thing, you know, for, for our church, that, that it would come in like that supernaturally. And we did not waver on our faith. Amen? So when did we have joy? We had joy before, even though we were being challenged and facing adversity. But the proof of, you, of your total victory is you never lose your joy. You have a lifestyle of joy. See, the Bible says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Well, it's the strength that produces victory. Did you hear what I said? If the joy of the Lord is your strength, it's the strength that overcomes. It's the, it's the strength that overpowers anything that you're facing. So joy is very vital and important. It's a, it is a, it's not the only thing 
but it's a, it's a big part that we keep our joy in everything. Amen. And, you know, I was thinking about this where uh, somebody asked Dr. Nancy, Dr. Nancy, what is the greatest tragedy you've ever had in your life? And she answered this, the greatest tragedy I ever had is even though she mentioned Dr. Ed going home, but that wasn't the greatest tragedy. She said the greatest tragedy is not having answers to my problems. That is a tragedy. And, and once she learned uh, and had answers or the wisdom to her problems, she experienced less tragedy or drama or problems in her life or overcame those. And so this question here is what is the greatest victory? Well, the greatest victory is when I have answers to my problems. That's a great victory. And, it, it, and uh, the answer to my problems always brings victory. Did you hear what I said? So what is, what is the pattern? They, they wanted to ask me, so what are some of the things you remember doing to get that victory? Well, I wrote down some things. Well, number one is that we need to hear from God. When we hear from God, we're getting the wisdom of God. Some would say, I need money, I need money, I need money yesterday. No, you need wisdom. You need an answer. You know, that's why praying in tongues is so vital and important. When you pray in, in the Holy Spirit, when you pray in tongues, you, the Bible says you're praying for mysteries. When you pray mysteries, if you, the root word to mysteries means answers. You're praying answers to your life. And so the greatest victory that you can experience is, is not just the money that comes in, not just the healing that you experience. Those are great miracles. It's the answers to, to get those healings, to, to keep that which belongs to you, to walk in that total victory of your life. And, and the end results, and it will be seen every time, is joy. And it's that joy that is, the, is your strength, and strength always overcomes. Amen. So you need to hear from God. And, and you can hear from God through prayer. You can hear from God through meditation. You can hear from God by studying His Word. You can hear from God by uh, attending church and listening to do your man of God that you're under. Uh, you know, where you go to church, it will, it will determine what's growing inside of you. What should be growing inside of you? Revelation, wisdom, knowledge, skill to use those things. What should be growing inside of you? Answers. Amen. Wisdom is answers. Uh, uh, the proof you ha you're operating true uh, uh, wisdom is it's going to manifest in joy. And joy should manifest before you receive anything because joy is what causes you to receive it. And the proof that you're resting and trusting in God is you still have joy. And so the greatest victory I've ever experienced is, is many miracles. I was healed from sickness and disease. I've had multiple. Even yesterday, uh, we had a problem with a house. And they told us it's going to cost $8,000. So I, I, I called somebody and I said, you know, uh, the person, do you have somebody else? Because they helped us contact this person, or, you know, and to, to take care of a problem in our house. And this person answered right away. I, it, it, it's spiritual son. He goes, Dad, where do I go to work? How can I fix this? Uh, it, you know, and, and immediately turned a, a, a $8,000 uh, need into a miracle. Amen. And so... The answers I re received is, um, is going to produce my miracles. And, uh, and the greatest thing that you can plant in your heart is the Word of God, and it causes you to hear Him. And once you hear Him, you know it's all going to be right. You know you can trust Him and rely, rely on Him. You can follow the voice of the Holy Spirit within you. And once you hear from God, obey Him. That's number two. Once you hear from God, obey everything He says and act on that. See, that's what faith is. Faith is that which overcomes the world. In John chapter, uh, 1 John 5, 4 says, Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. So meaning we're champions. We're born of God. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. 
Our victory includes faith. Faith is the victory. But faith is dormant. Faith is just confession. Faith is just understanding the wisdom of God and knowing the wisdom of God or having answers. But it's not complete. It's only part of, uh, of the answer. You have to do what you hear. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So faith can be produced, faith can be alive and ready to be released, but until we, we can release it by our saying, but we got to act as though it's come to pass. That's what faith action is. Amen? See, when here's a good example. You hear the man of God say this, you need to sow a seed today, and then gives a scripture, and you base that promise uh, you base the, what you hear and trust in God in that word, right? And and that produces faith. Yes, that's true. I should give. Yes, there is a promise to that, to that command of God. There's a promise of blessing and increase greater than I give. Praise the Lord. But until we put actions to what we heard, actions to the faith that's within us, faith will never be complete. Amen. So we want to hear God's voice and meditate on what he says, but we need to obey what he says. And that produces victory right there. It, because faith is what overcomes the world, right? We've, we've heard this and seen this, and faith in action will bring the manifestation. Did you hear what I said? Faith in action. Amen? Don't act until you have true faith. Amen? And faith, it, the end results of faith is joy and peace. There's a peace that you can follow. But once you, once you do that, you've got to act on your faith. Dr. Nancy was here a couple months ago, and she said this. It was very powerful. Uh, delays are, are missteps. If we delay in what God says to do, then we, it's really an act of disobedience, an act of distrust in God. And we, it's when we become heady, we start thinking about things and we come up with plan B when we should have been moving and, and, and on plan A, right? Doing what God said. So that's one thing that I've learned to always attain victory. Amen. I want to hear from God. I want to obey what he says. It's real simple. Uh, another thing is sometimes you just got to remove the op obstacles or the, the things of the walls you got to overcome, which is an adversity or opposition. And let's just simply call it what it is, the devil. And uh, sometimes it's not him physically, but it's influences from demons and everything else trying to hold back the blessings and stop what God wants to do. So we need to say in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood against you, devil. I, I, I speak the word against you. Just that name alone, every demon in hell, including Satan, trembles at that name. So, so we, we remove the walls and the adversity uh, or the strongholds of the devil that wants to stop the manifestation. Uh, and, then, and then we want to Number, I guess it would be number four, employ angels. If we're going to speak against demonic forces, then we need, to, we need something on our side that's working on our, our behalf in the earth. Now, the Holy Spirit does the, does the work, but angels can be employed to help us. And they're ready and they're willing. They're just waiting on the faith command. Amen? And they'll work on our behalf. And then the last thing is, act like it's done. Well, how do you complete that? Worship. Praise and worship. Praise and worship is a, is a high level of faith. It is acting as though it's all come to pass. And it will. And, and it, it, it uh, solidifies our joy. Amen. Praise and worship solidifies our joy towards Him. Amen. Well, I only got one question done here today. Praise the Lord. And I went a little longer than I wanted to. And I'll read the other two questions at the next broadcast. And thank you for tuning in today. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Pastor Mitch Keys, uh, please send them into our website. We'll have a Q&A uh, uh, place or apartment there that you can go to on our website and our section. And, and feel free to do that, please. And we love you. Appreciate you. Listen to the next broadcast. And uh, call you blessed. 
Amen.